problems in the court of Adil Shah. Shivaji was working fast and making Swaraj bigger. You know, he had just won over Zavi, that doubled the area of Swaraj. After that, Shivaji didn't stop. He won over the fort of Purandar. He also captured ports. He made his navy bigger as well. He captured two more posts of Adil Shah in Kokan. By this time, the fort of Pratavgad was being built by Moropant Pingre. All this news kept reaching Adil Shah's court. All the court members in Adil Shah's Darbar were really worried. Muhammad Adil Shah had passed away and his son was on the throne. But as he was too young, his mother, Badi Begum Saiba, was ruling for him. Bari Begum felt that something had to be done to stop Shivaji. She first called Shahaji and told him to make Shivaji stop his activities. But Shahaji was clever. He said that Shivaji didn't listen to him and asked Bari Begum to do whatever she thought was the right thing to do. The Begum was upset. She was irritated and was walking around behind her screen in the court. She said, Shivaji has taken 50 forts and so much of our money. What were all you people doing when this was happening? Where is your loyalty and what use is your bravery? So tell me, who will stop Shivaji and put an end to all this? I want an answer. But who would be ready to go on such a campaign. Buddy Begum put a pan in a dish in front of the royal throne. Whoever was ready to accept the challenge of stopping Shivaji had to come ahead and pick up the pan. No one did. Buddy Begum was angry. She asked again, Who is ready to go and catch or kill Shivaji? Tell me. Again, there was silence. Suddenly, a strong, huge man came walking towards the throne. He saluted the prince and bowed before Buddy Begum. He said, I will do it. Begum was pleased. She said, Afzal Khan, may you live long. We all expected you to come forward. Hearing this, Afzal Khan picked up the pan from the tray. He said, I will catch Shivaji and bring him to you. I will bring him here alive and throw him at your feet or I will bring his head and give it to you. The Begum was happy to hear this. She gave Afzal Khan a lot of precious gifts and sent him to capture and kill Shivaji.